Hello everybody, I'm Brad and this is Cyberfluidics from Tattoo Smart. So I had to make one last video because Procreate recently came out with a halftone feature that some people might think is the same as what I'm doing with these brush sets. Well, while the halftones in Procreate are cool, they don't offer nearly the same customization and range of patterns as my brushes. In this video, I'll review the halftone effect in Procreate 5X and how you can work non-destructively using substrates, masks, and hard mix layers. This is the final video in the Cyberfluidics tutorial series. I'm excited to see what you all do with the brushes, so if you post any of your artwork on Instagram, please use the hashtag MadeWithTattooSmart so we can check out your work. Now, on with the show. So in this video, I had two things I wanted to talk about. One of them being the new adjustment that you can do in Procreate 5X, which is called Halftone. And I also wanted to talk about working non-destructively and what that means. So let's look at the Halftone effect here. I want to apply it to the skull over here in the left. The one on the right is done with my brush set. And let's slide it up. And let's pick somewhere that we like. How about right there? Looks pretty good. And you see what it does. It gets really close to, well, it does something kind of, kind of in the family of what my brush set will do here. It's, it's a pretty narrow scope of flexibility in here with it. You know, it, it, it can, you can only do this horizontal vertical halftone effect. You know, if you wanted to change the angle of that, you can't, not without at least changing the angle of your image first and then coming to adjustments and then halftone layer newspaper then sliding it across and finally getting it to where you want it and then turning it all the way back you know if you need like just a really quick shoot from the hip filter effect of this and you probably maybe for a tattoo stencil so you can have a shaded version you know it might work but you know i wouldn't be using this probably because well there's this blur effect that it does to it and i'll show you what i mean let me come over to my version over here Gaussian blur. And you see it start to mimic this softer edge, what we've got going on over here. Uh, it also lowers the contrast a lot, I, I believe, so that it doesn't have as much black area over here. But you know, you give up that kind of control by having something so automated that way. You know, we can adjust all of that. We can get it as um, almost identical to what's going on over here on the left. But um you know, this leads me into talking about non working non-destructively. Because if you see here, this, this skull here over here on the left on over which I've applied the filter, it is stuck this way. You can't undo it unless you copy the layer beforehand and then save a duplicate of that. If that is something that you're already doing, you're already working non-destructively. And uh do that as much as you can. That there is there's only good can come of that. The only bad that can come of it is sometimes you can fill up your layers or there's just, it's data retention. You, you, if you just hold too much information around, sometimes things can get cluttery. You know, if you need to erase something and like this, and, but then you move ahead 200 more actions, you can't really go back and undo what you've done here without undoing 201 actions to get there. On the other hand, though, if you apply a mask, if you don't do this already, click on your layer, click mask. And now you see you have a, an attached layer to the layer that you want to uh, modify. 
And it only they only work in black and white. And what is white represents it. It's clear. It's see-through. You're seeing all of the layer underneath here. And the, if you want to block something out, you use black or grayscale. Color doesn't apply to masks. But you see here, now I have my brush and I'm going to erase out some stuff. Let me actually get a normal brush here. It's not really erasing. I'm actually masking here. So you see actually what's happening here is like this little bit here is blocking out. It's, it's reducing the opacity is what it's doing of the layer that it's attached to, which is this new 5X filter layer right here. This is terrific because if you want to move ahead later on, and let's, you know, if you move 200 actions later on, and then you decide later on that you want to undo whatever you've blocked out here, all you have to do is click over on this mask here and select white or a lighter gray tone, and you can paint it back into it. If you aren't already doing this, give it a try. Do it as often as you can, and some of the implications of that will be revealed to you as you move along in your own process. There's a lot of other limitations about this halftone effect over here. For one thing, you you know you can't pick the angle of it like you can in my set over here. Here, let me grab the substrate. You see here, I can change this as much as I want. You also can't fluidly combine it with other substrates. Let me make a duplication. I'm going to make a mod, mod to it right here. Zoom this in so you can see it. And you know you can erase this all this away, or you can mask it. Which is what I like to do. All right, so I've got my mask. I got my blast. Got my paintbrush. I'm just going to softly erase what's going on in here. You can see the layer underneath actually becoming revealed. So let me turn off this hard mix layer on top so you can see what the substrate looks like as I'm doing this. It's uh, pretty wild looking. But you can see the effect that happens here. So besides, this is just one, this is just node here. You know, this is one of, uh, I forget how many different pattern varieties of patterns I have here. But I thought that the release of the new Procreate filter would be a good chance to talk about working non-destructively. There's not much to it other than maybe duplicating your layers and adding masks, things like that. But, uh, yeah, that's about it.